Alrighty, time for another edition of Science Sunday, joined by, of course, Eva Ryle of the Connecticut Science Center. Hello, Happy New Year. To you as well. Yeah, I can't believe it. It's 2019 yeah, now. We're here. Yeah, and we're kicking it off, uh, making some, what, some elephant... Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Yes, we're going to make a little bit of a mess to start off 2019. I mean, why not? Why not, right? And this is, you know, we often do things, demonstrations, experiments that maybe at home you should not try, but mm -hmm. this is one maybe, if you don't mind a mess, you could yeah. try. Yeah, you could right. totally try this at All home. Right, cool. um, the first ingredient is hydrogen peroxide which we have here. Um, when hydrogen peroxide breaks down, it breaks down into water and oxygen gas. You might notice if you put it on a cut, that fizzling, yes. that's that reaction. So that's what we have back here. Yes, that's so. in these, these glasses back here that we're going to add in a second. All right, cool. Before we do, I'm going to tell you what's inside all of these. Um, we have some food coloring, of course, because I add that to everything. <laughs> I mean, it helps <laughs> Why not? You know, with the visual aid, <laughs> absolutely. Um, we also have a little bit of dish soap. So that's going to react with the water that we break down from this hydrogen peroxide to make a little foam to help catch all that oxygen gas. Um, the last thing in there is potassium iodide. Okay. And we use that just to make this reaction happen a little bit faster. And not everyone may have that at home, but there's right. an alternative. Yeah, if you use yeast instead, um, that can also act as the catalyst for this. So that might be a little easier to get at the grocery store. All right, and as we work from one side to the other, um, mm -hmm. not only do we have different colors, but we also have different shapes of glassware. Yeah, I wanted to see what happened if we use different shapes um, to, to have this reaction take place in. All right. So we're going to see. So we're going to start with the graduated cylinder. Yep, I'm going right. to start with this blue here. I'm going to add in the hydrogen peroxide. Ooh, a green. Interesting. So you can and see it's starting to foam there. Look at it go. Glad it's in a container. There we go. Oh, there it goes. Filling up the top. <laughs> ah, I wasn't expecting that to go green. That was cool. Interesting. Yeah. So you were expecting the foam and for it to, of course, come over the right, top. Right. But the color change you weren't anticipating. Yeah, that was right. a really cool color change. So I right. might have to do the potassium iodide. Okay. Do you want to try the green one? All right. Yes. So am I putting it all in? Yeah. All yeah. Right. Go ahead. Put it all in there. There it goes. There so that's going to react with that um, potassium iodide now to make it happen faster. And we're going to create some hydro or water and some oxygen gas. There we go. Yeah, actually, I mean, we can see from our angle, and you, I think eventually we can see like how there's yeah. movement beneath, but the, the bubbles are certainly growing. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So this one, I think, was a little bit more exciting than maybe this <laughs> round flask, but you can see that's kind of full of foam now. And so this is because with the graduated cylinder, it was taller than it was wide. Yeah. 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 So yeah, and that's still going. That was, oh, there we go. Now it's going There to the it top. goes. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Just took a little while. Yeah. And there's the elephant toothpaste. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Gross. You want to try the last one? Yes. So this is the red one. Um, what is the technical term of this? This is a beaker? Yeah. <laughs> Got an Erlenmeyer flask, oh, the Erlenmeyer a graduated flask. Yes. cylinder. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. So it takes a minute for this reaction to start happening, but once it's going, you can see we're pretty much it's coated kind of the bottom of these ones. All right, so while this is doing its thing, mm -hmm. we should let everyone know that in, in kind of the theme here, the celebration of science and sorcery, something yeah. cool is happening at the Science Center kind of in tandem with, uh, with Harry Potter. Yeah, January 12th and 13th, we have a whole Harry Potter themed uh, weekend. So we've got so much stuff, I can't even talk about all the things we have going on. That's, that's um, wonderful. I know. Um, we might have us a, few, a few surprise guests that day. And do people come in costume if that's their thing? Oh my gosh, please do. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in costume. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, the um, last one here. Yeah, and definitely check out Harry Potter online because things will sell out. So check it out, get your tickets online. That'll save you time the day of. So there are some things that are included with general admission, yep. but then there are some that are also in addition to. Yeah, most things are included, but um, some things we need you to book a spot in. So get it's on good the website, know. do that quickly. Be proactive. Um, and maybe we'll make some potions that day like these. How great <laughs> is this. All right, Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.